so pixel os is back after some time and uh, i was thinking that me they might skip the june security patch but they're actually bringing you of course in july but june security patch is here with of course based on android 13 a lot of new things as expectedly introduced and we'll talk about all of those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end it's based on android 13 this is pixel os what we are using right now and it is having the june security patch maybe with the july security patch the update will come out really really soon but right now let's take a quick look at some of the changes included here firstly the new wallpaper picker ui as you can see lock screen home screen some different kind of options available here and there this is new wallpaper picker and you can see we have some set of wallpapers available you can even customize the clock color and size and the same things like you can customize the lock screen shortcuts the thing which was available in the display and lock screen options now it's available here in the wallpapers and style options too in these options you can even customize the clock settings for example if you want to change this uh, this clock size to dynamic or small or you can even customize the colors the thing which i actually tried uh, i actually found in android 14 beta updates and and then after that pixie swiss was one of the customers which brings you this kind of things you can customize the colors if you want to and this is really interesting uh, if you need these kind of customizations you'll love this although unfortunately you can't customize the lock screen clocks but maybe in upcoming days upcoming future you will see those customizations also in system colors you'll be able to notice here some wallpaper colors options are there some other colors options are there and almost everything is certainly new and the things which were not available in the qpr2 update this is qpr3 update and that's why these things were introduced some new things were introduced with the qpr3 update and other things like wallpapers etc basically same you can see all the google wallpapers some new wallpaper options are already present here another new thing as expectedly is the new back animation which was also introduced with the qpr3 update and a lot of customers are bringing you right now some customers still did not i think so i guess i tried in cr droid and that customer this kind of back gesture is not present which is kind of disappointing but that's completely fine you can see in the gesture navigation sensitivity you can't disable this back gesture animation so it's totally up to you like in some time in some updates you have the option to disable that but in this case you can't and the security options you will notice the enhanced pin option which simply disables the animation while entering the pin as you can see i'm entering the pin except this cross option the back arrow option other things whenever right i am typing any kind of pin any kind of number here i am not seeing any kind of animation and which is a good thing of course and this thing was also introduced with the qpr3 update in the screen lock options you can see the enhanced pin privacy option available including that scramble layout quick unlock all the options which were available previously are already present here too including that if you move on to the face lock and fingerprint unlock options and if you enable the face unlock you can see new ui here it was not available previously and it's now implemented from aosba and this thing was actually available in one other custom home too i'm not sure which custom home exactly it was but face unlock implementation is now a bit changed if you use face unlock you might get the secure options right now but i'm not sure although i don't use that so that's why no comments on that we also have the smart 5 g option available which simply automatically switch between 5g to 4g to reduce the battery consumption and i found this feature quite useful although it's 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 only for the devices if your device supports 5g i mean if your device does not support 5g then this option is useless for you including that one more thing which i noticed here is app locker is certainly not present maybe with this june security patch they removed that and with the july security patch that thing will be added but right now in june security patch if you use the zoom security patch you will not be able to find the app locker here so if you are one of the users who use app lock on your device certainly then you need to keep this thing in your mind that app locker is not present if you want to use that you can simply change the default launcher maybe which the launcher which consists of app locker pre-installed or maybe using some third-party apps of course but all the things are here so these were things i just wanted to let you know this is pixel os latest june update if you want to install this thing all the official supported devices link is already available in the description i hope you like this if you like this video make sure to like this and also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one until then goodbye